All right, guys, so in today's video, I just want to go over some of the ways you can get a new ball python. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me, where did I get mine from? How did I get this girl? How did I get this guy? So today, I'm just going to cover some of the basics of how you can purchase your new ball python. All right, guys, first of all, you know, it's Sunday. I know the video is probably going to get uploaded a little late, probably around 3 o'clock. Uh, be honest with you, it was my girlfriend's birthday, which some of you guys already know, and it was a rough weekend so far. So, uh, if you're new to the channel, listen, I appreciate you. We're only three weeks old. We're growing. We're continuing to grow. We're up over 300 subscribers already. Uh, I have an Instagram account, blue underline, un underscore underline, underscore morphs. Just look up blue line morphs on Instagram to find it. Um, we're growing. Message me on there if you guys have any questions. As always, guys, I appreciate it. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really, you know, makes my day when I get new subscribers. Some days are high, some days are low. Either way, I greatly appreciate all of you. So let's jump right into it. So the first way you can buy your new ball python, let's say whether or not you're a breeder or whether or not you found this channel because you're looking to buy a new ball python for your kid or as a present or whatever the case may be. The first way you can buy your new ball python is a pet store. So around me, there's, there's a couple reptile stores. Now the problem with going to like a reptile store and purchasing a ball python is you're going to pay like 60, 70 bucks for a normal okay never mind if you want to get a certain genetic morph like i know they like a blue-eyed lucy which i covered in my last video you could probably get them on from breeders for like 400 bucks where in the pet store and a reptile store you're gonna pay like 600 dollars for these things okay even like a, a normal piebald male they sell for like four four or five hundred bucks you can go buy a bull python from a reptile store though uh but the problem is you're gonna have a markup, right? Because they had to buy it from the breeder, and then they're, they're the breeder is essentially they're essentially the middleman to you. So there's a markup on it. The other way is like your, your commercial pet stores, right? Your Petco, your your PetSmart, places like that. I have seen them with ball pythons. Here's the issue with that. Sometimes I I hear stories all the time how people purchase these ball pythons and they're different genetic morphs for like relatively cheap. Like I have a, a guy that messaged me on Instagram like a month ago. He purchased like a four gene combo male. I forget exactly what it was. For like 200 bucks where like if it was on morph market or kingsnake.com the classified ads it would be probably like a 500 dollars snake but the problem with buying from these large chain places is you don't know if the snake is sick or not you've heard the absolute horror stories you got guys you know experienced breeders or PETA guys walking in there and they're picking up the, these ball pythons that are pretty much they hatched them they threw them in a the tank they never gave them the first couple of meals they probably even shed yet so you can be careful. I wouldn't buy from a pet store, to be honest with you, unless uh, unless you, you, you're you friendly with their own reptile store and so forth and so on. Um, the other way you can do it is Craigslist, right? You can just, I have the Craigslist ad. I search it daily. I just put in ball pythons and I see what comes up. I've gotten a lot of really good deals. Um, if you're going to go that route, I do have a video from the channel first started, which is only three weeks ago, but I do have a video about the do's and don'ts with Craigslist, uh, the dangers of Craigslist and what to watch out for on Craigslist. But honestly, you can get some really good deals on Craigslist. Just be just be careful because you do have people trying to unload six snakes or maybe stolen snakes or they're just snake flippers, right? They buy a snake for 200 bucks, flip for 250. They don't give a shit about the, the animal. So be careful what you're buying. Again, I've had some great success. I've had some, you know, people try to scam me, which, you know, you guys know about. But I've also had some great success. And I've gotten really great snakes. Um, the other way, there's two websites. Uh... If you don't know, everyone knows Morph Market. There's also a website called kingsnake.com. Now, I've never purchased a snake off that website. I have buddies that have sold snakes on that website. It's more or less like an older version of Morph Market. So I purchased I purchased Okada. I purchased Madame Mata Turtles off their alligator snappers. And it works the same way that you think it works. It's a little less organized than Morph Market. But if you check it out, Google Kingsnake Classifieds, you know, kingsnake.com. And you can pretty much buy anything you want on there. Um, you can They have it classified and broken down into like snakes, then python, I think reticulated python has its own thing, ball python has its own thing, and like blood pythons, Burmese pythons are all like one category. You can buy literally anything you want on there. Anything from caimans to turtles to iguanas to snakes to pythons. There's uh, venomous snakes on there, there's spiders on there. You know, you have your tarantulas of course, and then you know, scorpions, uh, roaches. Uh, you can pretty much buy anything you want on kingsnake.com. My only experience is from Turtles. It's really not that bad. Um, the problem is there's no real guarantee on that website. Where Morph Market, 
Uh, you know, if you have a morph market account, you gotta send like your ID and so forth and so on. I, I never set up a King Snake, uh, a King Snake account, but my understanding is you gotta pay a little bit of money. You don't really, there's no really guarantee of who you're speaking to or what you're getting the snake from. I've heard a couple of scams from that website, but I've also purchased some some turtles from that website. All right. Uh, another way, and it was you know the turtles came fine. They were healthy and good to go. Um, the other way you could do it is breeder websites. So you can go on Instagram or social media, and let's cover social media. You can you can purchase them on Facebook, right? You can look in your local, like for me, it's Long Island, you know, uh, reptile something, Long Island reptile something. Essentially, it's just a uh, reptile, uh, Long Island reptile classifieds, and you can just find local breeders selling them, much like Craigslist. The problem with Facebook is it's never going to be for sale. It's going to be rehoming. Facebook has a thing with selling animals online. I don't really know. I know it's relatively recent last year or so but you can look on facebook look on social media and you can purchase your, your, your snake off of that now if, if you're specifically looking to purchase ball pythons i highly highly recommend morphmarket.com if you obviously if you, you're you're an experienced breeder you have ball pythons you already know morph market i'm on morph market 24 7 my ed's on my my ed my buddy ed's on morph market all the time send me screenshots of snakes that he finds Morph Market is essentially a giant database for selling snakes. I think there's like 13,000 bull pythons on that website. And you can literally break it down. They literally have a filter where it's, if you want this gene, this gene, this gene, this gene, you hit search, it'll come up with snakes that exhibit that gene. Okay, it, it's pretty much flawless. Um, you can find anything you want on Morph Market. So if you're looking to buy your first time ball python and you're not really sure what you want to do, just scan the website, look at all the different morphs and find something you fall in love with. So that website works where breeders like, like myself or like all my buddies, they, they scan their ID and they send it in to prove who you are, right? Picture of yourself and your, your ID, your photo ID. And then they, they, they list the animal and you can literally barter with people, okay guys? Just because you see a snake on there that's $1,000 doesn't mean you gotta spend $1,000 on that snake. There's a lot of people where you message them. For example, my, you met a couple of videos ago, my pastel enchi pie girl, I, I hit him up. I think he wanted like 800 bucks for it. I hit him up. I said, hey, listen, I'm really interested in your snake. You know, I'll give you 700, I'll give you 500. And they come back with a counter offer. I end up getting it for 575, which is about you know, $225 cheaper. Why they want to unload the snake. So when you're on that website, don't be afraid to barter with people a little bit, you know? They might be a jerk at first. and might say, you know, this is the price, this is for, for, firm. And honestly, guys, if they're assholes, don't buy the snake from them, right? Like we're going through something right now. It's, it's a killer edgy blade clown male that we really want. And we offered like $125 less and the person didn't even respond to us. Okay, they don't respond to us. All right, guys? You're not the only one that has a killer edgy blade clown male. That's just that simple. Um, but don't be afraid to kind of haggle with people. I, I've had great success over that. And another good thing about Morph Market is you can go, and if you live, like for me on Long Island, there's a, there's a, there's a section on the website where it's maps. You can literally look up a breeder in your area. So you can literally blow it up and have like a little snake and the snake will be different colors according to how many snakes they have listed on their, their store or on their breeder store. So you can go on there, you can click on the, the, the breeder in your local area and then you see what they have for sale. And don't be afraid to hit them up. Hey, listen, I'm around the corner. Okay, you, there's no, it's money right now. There's no shipping involved. So if they're selling the snake for 800 bucks, that's how I got my girl, selling the, the, the snake for 800 bucks. Hey, listen, I'll pick her up from you save the shipping i'll come right now cash in hand for 200 bucks less and that that's kind of how i like to deal with it now i'm purchasing on a really expensive snake from colorado so i'm a little nervous about getting it shipped but it should be fine uh but ultimately you can find breeders in your local area on morphmarket.com and you, you can find great deals and you, you can bargain with people okay you can haggle with people uh there's obviously a thousand different ways to purchase your ball pythons those are just some, some ways um, that I know of that are really easy. You got Craigslist, social media, uh, the two, you know, kingsnake.com, morphmarket.com, and uh, uh, you can, oh, and the last thing, I gotta cover this, right? I can't believe I didn't even think about this. Expos. There's reptile expos all over the country. You know, just on Long Island alone, we got one coming up in Brentwood, we got one in West Shaw, White Plains. Uh, there's one in Saratoga just passed. So if you're looking to purchase new bull python or you wanna build your collection, go to an expo. Look up, just look up. You know, Pennsylvania, you're in Pennsylvania, in Florida, wherever you are, Florida Reptile Expo. Drive the hour and a half, two hours. You're gonna go to these places, guys, and there's gonna be 30, 40 vendors selling ball pythons. And you're gonna be like a kid in a candy store. There's just shit everywhere. All different colors, all different variations, it's gonna be wild. And you can pretty much find whatever you want. 
go to the expo with something in mind. Don't do what I did. I just walked in, found, oh, yellow snake, purchased it, but now I got a fucking coral glow. Um, go in there with a plan in your head. Listen, I'm looking for this. I'm, I want to get this. What you can do is, most of the time you can find a roster of the breeders that are going to be there. Hit those breeders up. Hey, are you bringing anything? Of, of, you know, look what those breeders uh, are specialized in. Hit them up. Hey, listen, I'm coming to this expo. You bring anything clowns? You're bringing this? Yeah, yeah, I'm bringing this. No problem. Shoot over there and, and let, let it rip. So, you, again, you can bargain there. You can haggle there. Don't get there as soon as they open and be like, hey, this snake's thousand dollars. I'll give you 800 bucks. It's not going to happen. So if you really like a snake and it's for sale, spend the extra 200 bucks. Don't be cheap. But if it's getting late, okay, let's say the expo ends at 4 o'clock. You know, hey, listen, 350, you show up. They still got the snake you like. Hey, bro, listen, uh, it's 800 bucks. I'll give you 650 cash right now. They're probably going to take it. They don't have to bring the snake back. They don't have to pack it up. It's 650 bucks in their pocket. So those are the ways you can buy ball pythons. Whether you're new, you just want to purchase your first ball python, or whether you're looking to get into the hobby, or you're already into the hobby and you want to buy new ball pythons. If you're already into the, the hobby, then you know all these websites, you know all this shit, so this, this video is pointless for you. But for the new guys coming in, they want to buy your ball pythons, this is the way you can purchase them. It's all different types of ways. I like, I'm, I'm kind of impatient. So the whole getting it delivered thing, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But then again, it's like Christmas morning, right? You get to unbox it and shit, make a video. It's cool. But ultimately, I like to meet up, see my snake, hold my snake. Yeah, I'll buy this one. So that's really it, guys. There's a thousand different ways to buy ball pythons. Those are some of the ways to purchase new ball pythons. Good luck. Let me know what you guys, let me know some experiences you guys had, some good, some flaws. Um, comment, share, subscribe, like. As always, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, be safe, guys. Always remember, watch the six. Sorry for the video being so late.